Hi friends, welcome back to More Math with Miss Beck. Today you'll be learning a little bit more about the coordinate plane. To be specific, we'll be talking about reflective symmetry. A reflection is a mirror image of something across a plane or line. It occurs when a line or plane is drawn or exists to divide a shape in halves so that each half is a mirror image of the other. Take a look at some examples. Where is the line of symmetry in each of these photos? The line where the reflection occurs. I see a reflection at this line. I see a reflection here at this line. And here. And here and here, and here. As you saw in the photos, reflections can often be seen in nature, but why? Did you notice anything each of the photos have in common? Go back and have another look. What do you see in each of these photos? If it didn't jump right out at you, in each of the photos, Water is obvious. Did you ever look down into a stream, lake, or pond and see yourself looking back as if you were looking into a mirror? This is your reflection. Because both halves are mostly identical, symmetry is created. Symmetry is when an object has similar parts around an axis or line. Take a look at some objects being reflected across the coordinate plane. These objects are symmetrical. These symmetrical figures are reflected across the y-axis. In order to create the red figure in quadrant one, you would plot the coordinates 3, 1, 6, 2, and 4, 6, and then connect all of the lines. In order to create the symmetrical blue figure, only the x-axis coordinates change. The y-axis coordinates stay the same, such as this. 3, 1, where this point is here, would be negative 3, 1. So as you can see, the x-axis coordinate in the first position changes. But the height, the y-axis coordinate, remains the same. The second coordinate, 6, 2, is reflected across the y-axis as negative 6, 2. Again, we've moved to the other side of the y-axis, therefore the x-coordinate changes. However, the y-coordinate remains the same because it's the same height. And same goes for the third coordinate, 4, 6, negative 4, 6. Here is another example, although it is reflected downward over the x-axis instead of across the y-axis. A figure is created in quadrant 1 using coordinates 2, 1, 7, 1, 6, 3, and 3, 3. The reflection is symmetrically drawn in quadrant 4 beneath the top figure or over the x-axis using the opposite coordinates on the y-axis. The coordinates on the x-axis stay the same. As you can see, the coordinate at 2, 1 is reflected over the y-axis at 2, negative 1, and so on and so forth. As beginners at this, let's start with something simple such as the geometrical shapes here. Notice it is a pattern like you saw with the other two reflections. Can you name the coordinates for each shape across the y-axis? Because this shape or this shape is being reflected across the y-axis. Do you see the pattern? 
Look at this picture created by using symmetrical reflection. Everything that was done on one side of the y-axis was copied on the other side of the y-axis. The only thing that is different is across the x-axis. Therefore, the reflection is across the y-axis. How do we know that this is symmetrical? If I was to fold this figure along this y-axis or make my fold or crease here, everything on this side should match up perfectly with this side. Therefore, the reflection is across the y-axis. We know that the reflection is not across the x-axis because if we folded this figure across or on this x-axis, this half would not match up with this half. Let's create a figure together by plotting coordinates. We will make a simple star pattern beginning at coordinate 4, 4. To make the star symmetrical, I will have to copy this point across the x-axis to 4, negative 4. Now I want to reflect both these points across the y-axis. Let's see where they go. Well, my point at 4, 4 is reflected across the y-axis at negative 4, 4. And my point at 4, negative 4 is reflected across the y-axis at negative 4, negative 4. Now I'll add points to my star, beginning with the point at 12, 0. I want to reflect this point across the y-axis. Do you know what that coordinate will be? You're right. It's negative 12, 0. I'll make another point at 0, 12 and reflect it across the x-axis down here. Can you name that coordinate? It reflects over the x-axis at 0, negative 12. To complete my star, I'll connect the points with lines, and I have created a star. That's it. You can do this. Practice today because tomorrow you create. Do you think you could complete this snowflake? It's not easy, but worth a try. Be sure to pay really close attention to today's Khan Academy video. It shows how to reflect items, or actually it shows items being reflected and asks you to draw the axis that shows the reflection or divides the reflection in half. Good luck and have a great time, friends. Enjoy math.